welcome back to my channel please excuse why i'm still in a towel i have done my face but i haven't yet done my hair my hair is quite thick and i don't really like to blow dry it and then curl it or straighten it straightener it straightener it straightener it anyway so i'm trying to let my hair air dry and then i will go in with a straightener okay so that is why i'm looking like this but welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are well one second she's falling down <laughs> hope you guys are well i am back with another what i eat in a day video and i thought this was a really good day to do one it's one of my best friend's birthdays tonight and we are going out to eat for her birthday we're going to italian so I thought that today would be a good day to film what I eat in a day because I do get so, so many questions from you guys with regards to how to navigate your calories and your macros when you do have events on like this. So I'm going to show you guys kind of what I eat throughout the day when I do have an event on, for example, a dinner. So I can still make sure that I am getting in my protein for the day, but I am also leaving a whole heap of calories for that event and I don't spill over my calories for the day. So I'll give you guys a couple of meal ideas that are more lower calorie, higher volume, high protein to then in turn save those calories for that specific event that you may have on. Obviously I am in a growth phase so my calories are higher so I do have a little bit more flexibility with regards to what I can eat but I still hope that you guys get some inspo from the meals that I consume today. So let's get into it. It is currently 9.30. I finished at the gym. It was an epic, epic session. My training is through the fucking roof right now. I'm just so strong and I'm loving it. But now I'm hungry. So let's eat some breakfast. I literally just watched that back and my lips look tiny, tiny. If you know, you know. I'm pretty sure I have mentioned this in one of my videos, but I got my lips dissolved a little while ago. And now I'm just slowly adding in a half a mil every like six weeks or so. So right now I only have a mil in there. So she is looking very small. In about two weeks time, I'm getting another half a mil in there. And then we should be better. But yeah, that's why my lips are looking like non-existent they will be coming back baby all right so meal one today my post-workout meal my brekkie is going to be 150 mils of egg whites stupid old me forgot to actually get the egg white carton so i'm just going to crack these eggs and then obviously just get out the egg white for my brekkie then i'm just using ham i don't know i was just craving ham and it came over me and this has pretty good macros as well so per serving 50 grams is 7.8 grams of protein one gram of fats and not even a gram of carbs so this is a really really awesome protein option if you love ham get onto that especially with egg whites like an omelet even if you just did it with normal eggs really freaking good and then i just have this sad old <laughs> avocado to then pop on two of my corn thins <music>
have it guys not the most appealing thing in the world but tastes really good and it's also really filling as well you don't have to use ham you could use bacon you could use turkey slices you could use chicken slices whatever you feel like and i thought that i would quickly show you as well these you probably would have seen these on my channel heaps and heaps of times especially when i was in prep this is a really good option to have instead of bread so per serving is three slices and that contains 1.9 grams of protein, not even one gram of fat and 12.6 grams of carbs. So a really good option to opt out bread if you aren't able to have it due to lower calories or obviously if you have an event on like myself for dinner tonight, I don't wanna waste my calves on bread, but I still wanna have something similar. So this is why I would opt for thins or even the thins. They're also really good as well. So yeah, I'm gonna get into this and I will chat to you. Sorry, I got rudely cut off my memory card was full but yeah i will chat to you guys when i'm having lunch all right guys so this is lunch today a bit of everything because the aim of the game today is to a keep me nice and full because i'm trying to save the majority of my calories for dinner and b hit my protein so this is a concoction that i am working with you could say it's a salad with some potato however i forgot to get spinach which is what was meant to be in it so can't really say it's a salad without lettuce or spinach right so we're just going to call it a nourish bowl so we have our chicken here this is a slovaki coles brand i think you guys have seen this on my youtube channel previously absolutely love this chicken i love the seasoning then we have some corn kernels we have a carrot onion tomato spud light which i'm going to fry in my air fryer we have some frozen veg and then we'll pop some ricotta cheese on top if you like what you see, come and get it with me. I know you deserve all you want. Cause your heart's made of gold, but don't wait till you're old. If you want it, I get you some. Feel your body, losing up the tension. Baby, did I mention? I'll be here for you. And my body, show you your dimensions. Baby, did I mention? This is what I do. goodness this is going to keep me so so full as always i will leave the macros on the top right hand side for you guys and i'm just going to get straight into this obviously you can add in spinach and that's what i would have done if i did remember it at the grocery store or you can add in any veggies that you want that's just going to bulk it up and like i said keep you nice and full mm. so good as well Tip, drink lots of water. If you are saving your cows for an event, you're probably going to be hungry or you're probably going to think that you're hungry. So this is when I would suggest having a whole heap of water to keep your hunger at bay because a lot of the time when you think you are hungry, you're actually just thirsty. So make sure that you keep up your water levels, even have some caffeine. Caffeine helps suppress your appetite and then have amazing big bowls of goodness like this to obviously keep you nice and full as well so i'm going to get into this um mm, so good. i'll chat to you when i'm having my afternoon snack all right guys it is 
afternoon snack time. Today I'm going to be having a protein smoothie. Today's flavor of choice is the Muscle Nation WPI, the banana flavor. And I'm literally just going to be adding in frozen banana, about 70 grams. I have my ice right here. Almond milk. Psyllium husk, awesome for getting in your fiber. If you do struggle to get in fiber, I will definitely suggest getting your hands on this. You can put it in with your smoothies. You can put it in with your cereals. You can literally put it in with whatever you want, your yogurts. And yeah, really good for fiber. And then xanthan gum to help thicken up the smoothie. When I am eating out, I will tell you guys the macro split that I've estimated for my dinner. I always underestimate my protein because I would rather... Be safe and sorry and go over my protein target for the day as opposed to overestimate how much protein I'm going to be consuming in that meal that I'm eating out. With this case, dinner and not hit my protein for the day. So always tip for you guys is if you are eating out and you have to estimate the calories and the macronutrient breakdown of that meal, always underestimate your protein because you would rather be safe and sorry and hit or go over your protein target for that day rather than under. So for this afternoon's meal, it is again a really awesome low calorie meal, um, but it's also high in protein. So I'm gonna add in 30 grams of the protein powder. I know you guys can't see, sorry. And then I'm going to be adding in, looks a bit funny, doesn't it? 70 grams of banana. Is this weird? But I love like biting into banana when it's frozen and like brown like that. Charles will kill me. She'd be mortified if she heard me say that. But yeah, I love really ripe bananas and I love them frozen and I literally would eat them just like this. Perfect. See ya. I'm gonna pop in my almond milk, so 200 mils. And then Psyllium husk, about five grams. And then two grams, you don't need a lot of this, but two grams of the xanthan gum. And then I'll just add in a little bit more water as well, just so it's a little bit runnier. You guys know I do like it thick, but not too thick. And then, duh. Psyllium husk to bring out the flavor. Add some water, mix her up, and away she goes. I will show you guys what it looks like when she's all blended up. Another thing that I probably would have done if I did have, you guys know I don't have, is spinach. I would have added some spinach in with this. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. I was going to make it all like aesthetically pleasing for you guys and do the whole pour in a pretty little glass thing, but... Why not just drink it with this? I'm going to sit outside and drink this. I will leave the macros on the top right hand side for you guys and I will chat to you a little later. Because I'm not entirely sure about what I'm specifically going to be eating tonight, it may be like we just select from the menu. It may be like kind of a tapas situation. So when I'm in a situation like this, I'll rather be safe than sorry. And that is what I suggest you guys do as well. So always overestimate how many calories you think you are going to be consuming. Like I said to you guys earlier on today, always underestimate your protein intake because you would rather consume more protein than your target, than less protein than your target for the day, if that makes sense. So I've also accounted for alcohol. So I'm going to have one glass of red wine and one vodka lime soda so always because it's easy to track your alcohol if you don't know how to track your alcohol i would 100 suggest that you learn reach out to me i'll send you through a video on how to learn how to track alcohol it's very very important alcohol is very calorically dense so it's something that you do want to be educated on so with alcohol i always track that because i know how to track that but for everything else for example like i said I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be eating. That's when I will estimate how many calories I think I'm going to be consuming. So like I said, I'm having a glass of wine and one vodka lime soda. So uh, total calories, including the alcohol, is 1,292 calories. So as you guys will see in a moment, I've only added in 20 grams of protein, and then I've added in 60 grams of fat and 168 grams of carbs, which then totals 1,292 calories, which you guys will be able to see right there. So like I said, 
I don't know, it may just be where I can select what I want on the menu, it might not. Always, always, always overestimate. If you do have any questions with that, let me know. But I'm running late as per usual. All right, I gotta go. I will see you guys there. I'm gonna need safety. Tell her I can't snake you. Ray gun on safety. My girl's so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She wants the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily. So the stress don't face me. I'm going. I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out in Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it lit in your area. I'm locked to the vision, it couldn't be clear. You couldn't pay me to care enough. I dare you to hate me, supreme with the sound through the stereo. So turn it up loud when you hearing us. We live and it's good in your area. My mama proud, she tearing up and it's going down. Got your girl aroused by these massive stacks like a hundred pounds. Running big laps till the sun is down like a hundred miles. Tenant frames on me, leaning down. I'm winning now. Been a while, you ain't like me then, but how you like me now? Red one, if I hold you down, I'ma keep it there till we in the ground. Jet black when I paint the town, only blue sheets when they pay me now. Treat a setback like a step back. Wave. All right, you guys, I am back from dinner. As you guys would have seen, there was a lot of food. It was absolutely delicious, but now I am very full and I am very, very ready for bed. Hope you guys enjoyed another What I Eat In A Day video. And I hope that this also helped you with navigating your social situations around food. And I hope this does show you that you can most definitely still eat out. You just have to be organized. But that is all from me. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. But I will see you guys in my next video.